Hello guys and my valued viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before. Big news for Dinar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Dinar news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. In 2024, Iraq's Ministry of Finance released a statement that provided insight into the country's financial situation over the first seven months of the year. According to their report, Iraq's total financial revenues had surpassed an impressive 77 trillion Iraqi dinars. This figure, reflecting the period between January and July, offers a glimpse into the scale of the country's economic operations and its capacity to generate revenue. For those unfamiliar with such large numbers, 77 trillion dinars is an enormous sum, indicating a substantial inflow of money into the federal budget a crucial element for the country's financial planning and the provision of public services. The report further highlighted that this revenue is instrumental in managing the needs of a country with a growing population and a range of infrastructure projects that need funding. Despite efforts in recent years to diversify Iraq's sources of income, a significant proportion of the revenue continues to come from oil. In fact, as noted by the ministry, oil remains the dominant contributor accounting for around 89% of Iraq's budgetary income during this period. Iraq, being one of the largest oil producers in the world, has long depended on oil exports as the backbone of its economy. This dependence on oil is both a strength and a potential vulnerability. On one hand, high oil prices in global markets can lead to significant increases in revenue, as appears to be the case in 2024. On the other hand, the heavy reliance on oil means that the country is susceptible to fluctuations in global oil prices, which can be volatile and unpredictable, often influenced by geopolitical tensions, economic sanctions, or changes in production levels from other oil-producing countries. The sheer volume of revenue from oil also underscores the ongoing challenge Iraq faces in reducing its reliance on this single resource. While oil exports bring in vast amounts of money, there are risks associated with being so heavily tied to one industry. Many countries have been trying to move away from single resource economies by encouraging the development of other sectors such as agriculture, tourism and manufacturing. For Iraq, achieving greater diversification has been a long-standing goal, but progress has been slow. The dominance of oil in the economy has made it difficult for other industries to gain traction. To give a clearer sense of what this level of financial revenue means for the average person in Iraq, it's essential to consider how these funds are used. A significant portion of the federal budget goes toward public sector salaries, pensions, and social services. Iraq has a large public sector, with many Iraqis employed by the government in some capacity, making this a major expense. In addition to salaries, the government uses its budget for infrastructure projects, such as building roads, schools, and hospitals. There are also significant costs associated with security and defense, given the country's ongoing efforts to maintain stability in the wake of years of conflict and unrest. The reliance on oil has long been a double-edged sword for Iraq. While it has brought wealth and allowed for significant investments in infrastructure and social services, it has also made the country vulnerable to global market forces beyond its control. This vulnerability became particularly evident during periods when global oil prices plummeted, leading to shortfalls in government revenue and forcing the country to make difficult budgetary decisions. In contrast, when oil prices are high, as they seem to have been in 2024, the country experiences a boom in revenue, which can provide the government with more flexibility to invest in various projects and meet the needs of its citizens. Given Iraq's history and its economic structure, it is unlikely that the country will be able to significantly reduce its reliance on oil in the near future. However, efforts to diversify the economy are essential for long-term sustainability. One potential area for growth is agriculture. Iraq has fertile land and a long history of agricultural production, but decades of conflict, mismanagement, and environmental challenges have hindered the sector's development with proper investment and modernization, agriculture could provide a more stable source of income and employment for many Iraqis. 
Similarly, tourism, particularly cultural and religious tourism, holds significant potential. But Iraq is home to some of the world's most important historical and religious sites, which could attract millions of visitors each year if the necessary infrastructure were developed. The government's ability to manage its revenue effectively will be crucial in the years ahead. While the 77 trillion dinars generated in just seven months is a positive sign, how that money is spent will determine the long-term prosperity of the country. There are numerous challenges that need to be addressed, including improving public services, reducing corruption, and ensuring that all Iraqis benefit from the country's wealth. Moreover, investments in sectors other than oil will be key to building a more resilient and diverse economy that can weather the ups and downs of global markets. For older generations in Iraq, particularly those who have lived through the oil boom, years of the 1970s and 1980s, this situation may feel familiar. Iraq has long been a country of vast potential wealth, with oil serving as both a blessing and a curse. During the early years of the oil boom, Iraq saw rapid development and modernization, with large investments in infrastructure and public services. However, the country also faced challenges due to its reliance on oil, and these challenges persist to this day. Older Iraqis may remember the periods of economic hardship that followed declines in oil prices, as well as the political instability that often accompanied such downturns. For those who lived through the economic difficulties of the 1990s and the post-2003 period, there is likely a sense of caution when it comes to relying too heavily on oil revenues. Many have seen firsthand how quickly fortunes can change when oil prices fall or when the country's political situation becomes unstable. However, there may also be a sense of hope that, with proper management and a focus on diversification, Iraq can build a more stable and prosperous future for its citizens. The government will need to strike a balance between using the current windfall to meet immediate needs and investing in long-term projects that will benefit future generations. This includes investing in education, healthcare, and infrastructure, as well as promoting economic diversification. Iraq has the potential to be a regional leader in a number of industries, but realizing that potential will require careful planning, good governance, and a commitment to reducing the country's dependence on oil. In conclusion, while Iraq's financial situation in 2024 looks promising, with revenues exceeding 77 trillion dinars in just seven months, the country still faces significant challenges. The dominance of oil in the economy remains a central issue, and efforts to diversify the economy will be crucial for ensuring long-term stability. For the older generation, there may be a sense of déjà vu, as the current situation echoes the oil boom of previous decades. However, with the right policies and investments, Iraq has the opportunity to create a more balanced and prosperous future for all its citizens. The challenge will be in managing the country's resources wisely and ensuring that the benefits of Iraq's wealth are felt by all.